Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So we finally got to our last session, right? So it's been difficult, but good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, I can see Jaime, I can see Maria, Wendy, Nelson, Imelda, hello, Armando, Cecia, Rommel, eh, Aníbal, Floricia, Ronald, Carla, welcome. Blanca is just getting into the, to the class. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so welcome everybody. So this is, this is actually our last session and I hope the journey has been uh, interesting and uh, the most important is that you uh, learn that you have learned something in English. Okay, so you're, you're moving to the next level of English and I hope that you can you can continue doing your best as you have done so far. Well, I have 15 people connected and Ivar says that he, he is asking for some permission to be as a listener, okay. Okay, Aniva, it's all right. Well, let me see. 16, uh, 15 people. I will check list attendance. Just let me do. Just let me know that you are over here. Today is Monday, September the 25th. And hopefully everything will be all right tonight. <laughs> well, fortunately, let me see. Carla Gabriela... Wow, people. Anderson, Carlos Aníbal, Cecia Gemina, Elmer, eh, Carla Gabriela. Well, I will talk to you later because I'm seeing some info here. Well, list attendance. Ana Graciela. Anderson Jeremy. Present teacher. Armando Antonio. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. I'm here. Cecia Gemina. I'm here. Oh, Cecia is there. Diana Patricia. I'm here, teacher. Elmer Alexander. Elsa Noelia. I'm here. Floricia. I saw Floricia here, there, teacher. yeah. Ingrid. Jaime Ivan. I am here, teacher. Karina Jamilet. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Kelly Guadalupe. Present. Maria Imelda. I, I'm here. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol. Present, teacher. Nelson. Present, teacher. Romero. Present, teacher. Ronald. Present, teacher. And Wilfredo. So Wilfredo is absent here. Well, first time I check list attendance. Remember, I check it twice during the night, during the hour, but, uh, well, since this is the last class, since this is the last session, I would really appreciate you taking into consideration some pieces of advice that I will provide at the end. But now, let us get down to business. Let us see what's, what's going on with the class tonight, tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna work directly with the information that, that we have in the platform. Okay. So we have been studying about negative construction, pronunciation, regular and irregular verbs, questions with did, was, and where. So we have been uh, uh, studying a lot of information in English, right? So I consider it's important also to see some information that's gonna be presented over here. 
Okay, I don't know if you remember when you were at school. Do you remember when you were at school? Do you remember when you were at school, eh, Imelda? Do you remember? Do you remember you when you were at school? Please uh, education. Uh huh. What do you remember? I think everybody remembers when being at school, right? There is some there is some information over here, some vocabulary that we're gonna start talking about from this list. We're gonna listen and then we're gonna check. Listen carefully so that we can get familiarized with this topic. Give me a second. Now vocabulary. Classes, history. No se escucha, no se escucha, teacher. I don't listen, teacher. No uh, listen, teacher. Uh, okay, okay. So, once again. So, this vocabulary is going to be very useful, though. Pay attention. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. We have classes. History. We have history math, classes, math classes, physical education, physical education, science, science, schools. We have also schools, college, college, elementary, elementary, high, high, junior high, junior high, places, places at school, classroom, classroom, gym, Does lunch gym? room, lunch room, playground, playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. So that's what we're going to do just right now. Now, I will I will be like, like checking the vocabulary here. Okay, the one that classroom belongs to places, right? College, college belongs to cool. schools, cool. schools, elementary, A school. schools, gym, places, places, high, cool. Cool. schools, mm -hmm. history, Class. Class, class, right? Classes. Class. Junior high. School. Schools. Lunchroom. Places. 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 Math. Classes. Places. Places. Math. Classes, Places. Classes. Classes, right? Physical education. Classes. 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 Playground. Places. Places, right? And science. Class. 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 So actually, we have categorized this vocabulary. Now, do me the favor to uh, tell me the way you pronounce this word, please. Classroom. 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 College. 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 Elementary. 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 Gym. 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 Hi. 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 History. 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 Junior high, 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 junior high, 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 high lunchroom, math, math, physical education, physical education, playground, playground, science, and science. That's it, right? And science. Pretty good. Well done. Well done. Okay, very basic vocabulary, but very meaningful. Let me see. Now that we have just uh, talked about this vocabulary, about school days, we're gonna read something over here, right? So it's just gonna be like uh, something about a famous person. I remember I told you to investigate about a biography of a person you admire, right? 
Do you do it? Do you do it? Do you look for information about a, a person you admire? Well, we're gonna talk about this person. This person is a famous artist, right? I don't know if you admire him or if you do not admire him, but actually, this is a this is a a, a famous uh, and uh, and um, I don't know if uh, he's from Puerto Rico, as far as I remember. So let us listen and let us identify, okay? Because Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So as you can see, we're gonna have some review about simple past form. This is the past of? Person. This is the past of which verb? Which verb? Verb to be. The verb to be, right? So verb to be over here. What what about this verb? How do you how do you think this verb is pronounced? According to the rules I taught you, right? No, I mean I'm talking about this is regular or irregular? Regular verb. It is a, it is, it is a regular verb, right? Because how do you know it's regular? Because it ends in ed. Now the pronunciation, people. Appear. Appeared. <laughs> okay, I, I will I will ask you. These are sounds, right? Appeared. Appear. Appeared. Appeared. Okay, so remember that I told you about the three pronunciation. Vimos los de las tres formas de pronunciar, verdad? Y las reglas. Okay, so number one, number two, or number three? Number one. Number one, so this is the pronunciation, appeared. Here. Now, what about this one? Studied. Studied, all right. What about this one? Joined. Joined. What about Joined. this one? Work. 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 Number one, number two, one. number three. Number two. One. Number two. And number two, word. 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 I have another one over here. Number one. Number, Number one. one. Moved. Moved, right? Now, let me see. Moved, moved, appeared. I think there are no more, right? Uh, I think what this one. Uh, this is this is an adjective, but actually, this is a past form of called. Called. Called, called right? Called. Uh, Okay, so pretty good. Now tell me, where do you see verbs that are regular, irregular verbs? Over here I have the, the first one. Tell me the other one you see there. No. No, no more irregular verbs? No? Record, yes. Left. And now, second paragraph. Left. And we have left. He left. All right. Left. What is the what is the verb actually in the base form? Uh, leave. Leave. The past yeah. left. Is yeah. that the only verb you see that's irregular? Irregular. Is that the only one you see that's irregular verb? Irregular verb. Didn't, I don't... 
No more verbs that are irregular over here in the second paragraph. No more? Became. Ah, you got it, right? Be where is the, how where is the pay form? Become. Become. What about in the next paragraph? Do we have irregular verbs? Was he was was no more no more are you sure uh, I think there is one more here uh, uh, God mm -hmm. yeah, you got it right so God yeah. What about a third? Made. One? Oops, it, it barely seemed me, right? But I think this is the only one, right? Then we have was over here. Was. Was again. And that's it, right? Now we're going to listen to it. Now we identify all the past tenses. Uh, I mean, all the, the, the past yeah. statements. Okay, so now let us try to listen to, to it later. Later. Well, we're going we're gonna to see if you got some information about some other uh, people you admire, okay? You're going to be giving your Hi, time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay, so that was it. That was the information about this guy. Okay. And we are going to see some info about, about him. Hey, um... Well, we have just read his article. Now, we, according to what we, we read and according to what we listened to, we're going to answer each question. When was Ricky Martin born? San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. No, but pay attention. Because oh, when? And you, oh, when? You need to pay attention. December. You need to pay attention to, to, the, to the question, mark, right? In Puerto Rico? On December. On December. December 24. Give me a second. Uh -huh, 24. On December 24. 1971. Hey, how old is he now? If, if he was born in 1971. 1971. How old is he one? How, how old is he now? 52 years. 
He's 52. He is 52. But he was born in on December the 24th. Wow, December 24th. Almost Christmas time, right? Where was Ricky Martin born? Where? San Juan Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. San Juan Puerto Rico. Okay, so but tell me the complete sentence. He was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. How old was Ricky Martin when he joined uh, the Latin boy band Menudo? He was 12 years old. He was 12 years old. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was frustrated. Okay, now, in your own words, what was the article all about? What do you remember about the article in general? Si yo les pidiera un resumen del artículo y les, y les dijese, utilicen estas que cuatro eh, oraciones, cuatro ejercicios, ¿cómo lo harían? What do you remember about the article? Ricky Martin is an um, artist was born on December 25, 1971. And her first album is Living La Vida Loca. Mm -hmm. But let us try to use this info, okay? Ahora utilicemos este ejercicio para crear un, un, un summary de, que, de lo que leímos. Ok. You did, well, I will give you like five minutes for you to create a summary. Les doy cinco minutos para que creen un una versión corta de lo que leímos en el en el artículo, ¿ok? Five minutes. Teacher, con preguntas y respuestas, pero no las mismas que están ahí. No, I mean... Um, pues un resumen corto nada más. Un resumen de, del mm -hmm. artículo just en like, sí, Just like Ricky Martin, born on December 21st, 1971, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And he... Uh -huh. So that's why you need... Take five minutes. Tómense cinco minutos, okay? Para crear un summary, un resumen del artículo en sí, okay? Five minutes.
Two minutes more, two minutes. Okay, if you if you have the 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 summary, you can share it with with the group. Okay. Is uh, anybody ready? Thank you. Thank you, Armando. Okay, let us know about the way you summarize this info. Okay, uh, Ricky Martin born on December 24th, 1971 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. He joined in Latin boy band Menudo when he was 12 years old. Ricky Martin moved to Mexico City because he was frustrated. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Wilfredo, let us know the way you summarize the info. Uh, Ricky Martin was born on December 24th. 1971 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. He was 12 years old when he belonged to the Latin band Menudo. He left the group and became so frustrated that he moved to Mexico City. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Two versions are there. Now, is there anybody else who wants to share a, a third version? No? Okay, I really like the way you summarize the information now. Let us see what's coming now. I really like that what, what you what you did with with the information about this person. Okay. So I don't know if you if you I mean if you investigated about the information of another person, a person you admire. Otherwise, we're gonna go over the the final examination. Okay, I hope you have already finished with this. Por ahí estaba observando que hay alguna, algunos participantes que todavía no han terminado esta sección. Esperaría que lo hagan esta misma noche para que no su su puntaje su récord para que su récord no se vaya a ver afectado. Okay, so let, let us try to go over the, the, the final test. So I think it's going to be 30 minutes will be enough to finish to finish it, okay? So let's see, let us start. Well, we're going to listen to a conversation between Mark and, and Helen. 
And we're gonna select the best option to answer such questions. Listen up. Let's see. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on Second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up Second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. All right. Now, did you get the, the general idea? Thanks. Yes. Yes, I think you got the idea about it now. Where are Helen and Mark going? Bank and a bank in the department store. store. They are going to a bank in a department store. Where is Mitt's department store? It's on the corner of First and Main. It's on the corner of First and Main. Okay. How do you get there? Wake up, step on the main, start on left. Right. All right. All right, Era. All right. Walk up second to me. The second right. to me to right. right. Then right. turn right. Where is my going to buy? Sweater. Sweater. A sweater, right? A sweater. And let's see if we did it. Pretty good. So uh, Mark and Helen are going to a bank in a department store. Uh, the, the department store is on the corner of First and Main. Uh, if you want to get there, you need to walk up second to Main and turn right. He, the guy, well, Mark is going to buy a sweater. Pretty good, simple like that. Second exercise. Completing the sentences about, about this. So let me see. I think you, you will be able to see better here. There is a map. Do me the favor to observe the information on right here. Okay. Alfest Avenue, Main Street, uh, Park, Park Street. Second Avenue, Center Street, you have the gas station. Well, this this is a map that we studied in the past, right? No. Yeah, I think I think we had already seen this this map. We have the movie theater. 
Okay, we have the supermarket, the drugstore, the other things, right? So if we come here, we say, for example, the department store is? Next to the bank. Next, next, next to the bank. Yes. Okay. Now let us let us see or let us try to get where the coffee the coffee shop is. Across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. Uh, let's see. The uh, us coffee shop is. You say across from, across from the movie theater. In Maria's restaurant. Where is Maria? On the corner. On the corner. On the Maria's corner. restaurant. It's on the corner. Let me see. On the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. That's it. Good. The department store is next to the pump. All's coffee shop is Acro from the movie theater. And Maria's restaurant is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Good. Pretty good. So we're, we're doing a great job. Now, in the third, we need to select. We need to select the best answer oh. and for example who who wa who wants to help me to read the questions can somebody help me to read the questions question number one where were your parents born in the u.s were your parents born in the u.s oh. answer No, they weren't. No, they weren't. 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 I grew, I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Number three. Who was your first English teacher? Hey, who was your first English teacher? My first, my first, my first English teacher was Mr. Saru. Mr. Saru. Mr. Saru. Number four. When did you come to New York? Hey, when did you come to New York? I came to New York. I came to New York. I came to New York in 1998. Number five. What was your first day in the USA? It was, it, was, it, was it was a little scary. scary. It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Good. 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 Quite good. <laughs> That's right. Next part. Match your verbs with the nouns. Number one. Match the verb with the correct word or phrases. Had? Picnic. Played. Tennis. 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 Took. Photos. Went. Swimming. 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 So play. 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 Wow, people, you, you learn 
quite well the expressions and the verbs. So you see, we're almost done with it. Now let's see. There's a conversation. Of, I think there are more than one conversation. Yeah, that's right. So let's do something. Two people will complete the sentences over here. Uh, let us try it. I mean, but do you have a good weekend? Not really. I study. I study. I study. Okay. No, no, it's not that one. No. Study. No, sorry. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Did they do did they do did they anything last weekend? Did they do anything last weekend? Yes, they went. They went. They went. And they went. It's double O, right? It's not that. It's, it's not three times, but double O. Hiking hey, like in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> did she? Did she go? Did she get? 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 Ah, it's not did she got or did she get? Did she get? Did you get anything at the at the mall? No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy. She didn't buy. Didn't buy. Didn't buy. Didn't buy. Didn't buy. Didn't buy anything. Okay, I need two people to read it. Two people to read the conversation. Me. Please. Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's start. Do you have a good weekend? Uh, no, I really, I started. I started a weekend. Did they do anything last week? Uh yes, they went uh hiking in the wood. Did she get anything at the mall? Uh, no. She uh no, she went shopping, but she didn't buy anything. Excellent, pretty good, excellent. And I think we're missing only one part. This is about reading an article and completing some sentences. So can somebody help me to read? Me, teacher. Thank you. Jerry Carson. Jerry Carson, at 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but they stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went he went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He he pushed or oh, he pushed. He pushed on it but uh, it didn't open he called to his neighbors but they didn't hear him okay let us make a pause there I'm gonna pause it so I got the name of, he, he pushed he pushed this sounds like a T right suena como T si o no right y si nosotros decimos he pushed on it Okay, está bien, pero cuando hablamos de manera natural, eh, tendemos a unir sonidos. 
he pushed on it, okay, he pushed on it, porque era más ton, ton, he pushed on it, ajá, por eso es que cuando escuchamos a, a, a personas que ya sean nativos o que ya tienen tiempo de hablar inglés, tienden a, a unir sonidos. Top of, top of, top of the stairs, top of the stairs, back up, back up stairs. Back up stairs. Okay, so the same happens so here. He pushed on it, pushed on it. Como usted ya sabe que suena como T, ese sonido T lo une al on. He pushed on it. Okay. Okay, let us continue, please. I, I don't know. Alguien más le quiere ayudar? A, le a leer. Luckily. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Gary had food to eat. There were some extra gold groceries in the basement. And he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and sleep on the den. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer. But he didn't answer the phone. The phone say his father, we came home right away. We're just happy. He's all right. He is all right. Very good. Now listen. Uh, la verdad que los felicito por, por, su, por su esfuerzo, por su pronunciación, por todo lo que hemos estado trabajando. Pero mm, estando acá en los, digamos, en los niveles más básicos, esas cositas como, por ejemplo, lo que les enseñé yo acá, que hay que ir viendo cómo se van uniendo los sonidos. Cuando ustedes, cuando ustedes eh, oigan, digamos, a alguien eh, o estén estudiando por su propia cuenta, fíjense. Fíjense en estos detalles, porque son de suma importancia. Lo mismo acá, por ejemplo, si digo este verbo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia este verbo? Sleep, es uno. Sleep. La mayoría, sleep. cuando estamos en niveles básicos, le ponemos una E. Sleep. Y eso ya no es el verbo. ¿Ok? Sleep. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Si yo digo sleep, ¿qué es lo que debo de hacer? De borrar este sonido cuando lo estemos pronunciando. Ajá, el teacher, ¿y entonces cómo? Ah, es que empecemos con el sonido de la S. Sleep. No, sleep, no. Sleep. 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 Es como Sleep. Cuando, Sleep. Se cuando se pincha una llanta. Sleep. 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 Ajá. Sleep. 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 Ajá. Pero ya no le pongamos, digamos, a, si digo school. 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 Sleep. School. Okay. School. 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 No, no solo digamos school, porque si no vamos a decir otra school. palabra, sino que school. digamos school. 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 Ok. School. Ahora, también con school. los verbos hay que aprendérselo. Slept. Porque el presente oh. es, ya, ya lo escuchamos, ¿verdad? Sleep. 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 No, pero school. oiga, no vamos a cometer el error de no pronunciar la S y decir solo lip. No. Hay que, hay que pronunciar sleep. 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 Ok. Sleep. Ahora. Sleep. Ya vimos. Ya vimos sleep. los pasados. Hay muchos verbos, ¿verdad? Que hay que estudiar. 
pero estuvimos viendo algunos. Y hay que fijarnos bien en la pronunciación. Si el presente es sleep, el pasado es sleep, 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 sleep. Okay. Ahora, ¿cuál es el verbo base de, de, de esta forma de, de en pasado? Fine. Fine. Pronunciación en pasado. Oh, phone. Oh, phone. Eh, si, si algunos dicen phone, phone, phone. Eso, esto es, lo, esto es lo, lo interesante, lo bonito del idioma, miren, porque si, ah, hoy por ahí alguien lo está, lo está poniendo en, en un oh. diccionario, creo yo, o en, en la web, pero suena igual phone o found. 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 Y hay otra que es así, miren. Found. Entonces, lo, lo interesante del idioma es que también pueden, pueden confundirse las palabras si no las pronunciamos bien. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso también es bueno aprendérselo. Prestar mucha atención, repetirlo muchas veces hasta que se nos quede de la manera correcta. Y otra cosa que les voy a aconsejar, o les voy a sugerir, es que, miren, muchas veces nosotros, nosotros aprendemos, digamos, podemos estudiarnos palabras, y eso está muy bien. Pero, si yo, por ejemplo, me aprendo esta palabra como... Choose, choose, resulta que voy a creer y la estoy va a repetir y digo choose, 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 choose y, y creo que así es, pero ese es mi creer, o sea, eso es lo que yo pienso, entonces me voy a aprender esta palabra, pero la voy a, me, pero la pronunciación me la voy a aprender así, entonces cuando yo hable, no va no va a tener sentido ok porque si ustedes buscan esta palabra con esta palabra tienen, no, tienen diferencia cambia está comiendo la canela entonces eso sucede con eso sucede con muchas palabras ok y, y por eso hay que hay que aprendérsela de la manera correcta. Ok, now let's see. We still have like some time. Voy a pasar lista. Oops. Yo creo que esta clase, pues. Let me see. Voy a buscar, Wilfredo, voy a buscar una página donde estén los verbos, ok? Y se la, se la voy a compartir. Ok, buena idea. Ok, para que ustedes pues estén, para que ustedes estén siempre en contacto con... Ay, qué hueva. Aunque, aunque um, no se lo soliciten, digamos, algunos, algunos teachers, ustedes siempre manténganse aprendiendo palabras, expresiones frases, um, canciones, lo que a ustedes les llame la atención. Teacher. Ajá. You saw my last uh, message. Eh, Diana, let me see. Oh, espero que todo esté bien, Diana. Ok. Thank you, Tisha. Okay. I'm sorry to know about it. Aunque ya perdí este, este, este check de esta clase. Pero aquí estoy, aunque sea unos ratitos. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Vamos con lista tenants. Miren, ha sido un placer para mí estar con ustedes. La verdad, pues. 
me encanta me ha encantado este grupo Ana Graciela present teacher Anderson present teacher Armando present teacher Blanca present teacher Carlos Aníbal I'm here Cecia here teacher Diana Patricia present teacher Elmer Floricia present teacher Ingrid Present teacher. Eh, Jaime Iván. Yeah. Karina. Jamilet. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Kenny. Present. María Imelda. Present teacher. María Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol. Present. Nelson. Present teacher. Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. And Wilfredo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Now, solo, solo para ir cerrando. Eh, so, dígame. I'm here. Uh, who said I'm here? Elsa. No, Elsa. Okay, give me a second, Elsa. Okay. Uh, a mí me puso lista. Elsa, sí, ya tiene, ya tiene la asistencia. Uh, solo Elmer, que no, Elmer y Karina Yamilet, lo, los demás sí ya tienen asistencia. Ok, so, solo decirles que pues espero que no, no se den por vencidos en esta, en esta aventura que ustedes decidieron tomar. Aprender un idioma es, se necesita dedicación, se necesita invertir tiempo, se necesita no darse por vencido. De eso se trata el aprender un segundo idioma. Así que yo les, les deseo lo mejor y espero verlos en algún momento ya en un nivel avanzado. Un nivel Thank avanzado. You, La verdad you. que ha sido un That's placer fine. poderles Thank atender. You. Y espero verlos en algún momento en, en la secuencia, de, de, en el proceso de su aprendizaje. Así Gracias que, por su paciencia. Gracias. Dios me los bendiga y espero verlos pronto. Dios los bendiga. Nos tomen en cuenta para el próximo módulo. Es continuo, next mayo. Okay. Estamos esperando que nos llamen, teacher. Ok. Teacher, en las... Cuando uno se examina ahí las barras que van apareciendo, hay unas que aparecen en gris. ¿Qué significa eso? En, en la plataforma. Sí, en la plataforma. Pues fíjese que no, 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 lo, he, no, lo, he, no lo he identificado, fíjese, pero me imagino que es referente al avance que ustedes van teniendo. Sí, porque... La última barra a la, a la mitad, un poquito más de la mitad, está color naranja y de ahí para arriba está en gris. Sí. Pero de igual manera, acuérdense que les van a notificar acerca de sus avances y acerca de todo lo que, todo, cada sesión que ustedes eh, entran, pues importa, ¿verdad? Tómelo muy en cuenta para los siguientes niveles. Así que pues me despido y espero que todo les salga muy bien. Gracias, Thank teacher. You, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, God bless you. Dios bendiga. Thank you, teacher. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Algunos de ustedes ya les llamaron.